The race for a U.S. Senate seat in Georgia brings a very crowded field. Nearly two dozen people from both major parties, including incumbent Kelly Leffler. News Channel 6 caught up with Ed Tarver to hear why he wants to be elected. Just wrapped up an interview with Ed Tarver, and he focused on a few key points of his platform, health care, the economy, and criminal justice. To the, the smaller communities where, where we don't have the large health care, we don't have a large, huge, tremendously large uh, health care infrastructure. Topping his COVID-19 priority list in the race to unseat Kelly Leffler, Ed Tarver tells News Channel 6 he wants better bed capacity, PPE, testing and rapid services to better determine who is infected in places outside of Atlanta, Augusta and Savannah. He says through bipartisan legislation, he wants to make sure Georgians have more help other than a payout from Congress. In addition to re relying on agencies like the Department of Labor that we, uh, uh, that we include as part of uh, the, the plan, uh, other social service agencies that have a direct uh, contact uh, with, with individuals in need. Tarver tells us he is a veteran and lawyer who in 2009 was elected to the Georgia State Senate. He served three terms before President Barack Obama nominated him to serve as U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of Georgia. As the first African American in that position, Tarver says he was tough on crime, targeting prescription drug health care fraud, and sentenced those involved in the largest human trafficking investigation in the country. He also created a reentry program to keep felons from going back to prison. I went on the speaking circuit, went around to chambers of commerce and, and other business groups uh, and, and tried to help them understand that if we don't address this issue and we, if we don't address it quickly, then, then you leave these prior felons, these folks, no choice but to return to the same type of behavior and activity that got them arrested and got them convicted initially. Despite the crowded field of Democrats, which includes Ebenezer Baptist Church Pastor Reverend Raphael Warnock, Tarver says the polls show Georgians have not embraced anyone in the race. That I have a, uh, a record of public service that I'm proud of. Uh, I have served this community faithfully for a number of years. Tarver mentioned some other areas that will benefit the CSRA if elected. He will focus on Fort Gordon in terms of national defense and climate control as it relates to agriculture. We will have his full interview on our website, WJBF.com. In Augusta, Renette DuBose, WJBF News Channel 6.